I'm gonna tell them that their shoes are untied. <laughs> <laughs> Your shoes are untied to display dominance and take Actually, Control X. The only reason I'm here is because I'm impressed with Control X. Uh, control X is getting a lot of traction. So, yeah. And Gartner came out with their. They just dropped the Magic Quadrant for the IoT platform. I just saw it this morning. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna eviscerate Gartner on that for sure. Um, although they did agree they're gonna come on the podcast to go ahead. I'll try to defend their yeah their thinking there. So awesome, awesome. Um, the control the reason we're here is to look at one of. I want to have a better understanding of what the Control X IoT platform from Box Reds, Bosch Reds, from Rex Roth is. The 30 second elevator pitch. What is it? Yeah, so Control X automation really eliminates all boundaries. So if you think about the standard machine control, PLC, right, it was developed in the 80s to replace relay logic. In today's IT OT conversions, a PLC really wasn't built to make a dashboard, have a database, remote connectivity. So traditionally, really, even today, you keep adding on additional hardware and software, so Control X brings it all together. And like your smartphone for automation, uh, or like your smartphone, right, you add apps to kind of customize your device, so Control X does exactly that. So if you want, if you have a PLC, standard machine control, you have a PLC app, you have some servers, motion app. Now if you want to do some IT, OT, connect an MES system, you have different apps you can install. No RAD as a connector, MQTT app, OPC pops up, uh, these kind of things. What about spark plug B for NPD? Um, I believe that is supported. So we have uh, an MPT broker. So that's a partner app. So the big part about Control X, so we as Bosch Rex Ross, we do automation motion control really well. Uh, we're not a vision company. We're not an IoT. Oh. Right. So that's where Control X world comes in, which is an ecosystem we're building where we're bringing partner vendors to really fulfill these need, you know, these needs, customer needs, and there's where you know MPTT comes in. So there's multiple MPTT options we have actually on the platform. So there's different. So for every solution, there's actually different partner vendors we have. So will you be using authorized partner vendors and an SDK to develop to extend the ecosystem, or is it all anybody who's interested in using the SDK can use the SDK to extend? Yep. And right. then we have preferential treatment for those who are authorized. Uh, no, so it's an open system. So, so great question. So number one, there's, there's two ways. So if a partner vendor and those in some cases are competitors, uh, if they want to build uh, a software solution that runs on Control X Core, they will get the SDK and they can develop this solution that runs on the Control X Core. So basically what you get is a, a front end, right? So mm -hmm. if someone, uh, so I'm going to use Ignition, they're not a partner, but if someone uh, uses Ignition, uh, if Ignition would join the ecosystem, they could then basically have the same GUI that runs on the core as a web interface. So they don't have to learn something new. That's the one way, but as a customer, OEM for example, they can also use the SDK and build their in-house apps. So when you talk about, you know, on the operational level, building modular machines, flexible machines, a lot of times that's more on the mechanical side, right? So Control X with the app technology really allows you to also on the software side, build it modular. So it could be as simple um, as building an app that does temperature control, let's say. You know, you would get the SDK and do it. What if I hear it. about this? I hear about Control X, I'm like, oh wow, this is, this is a new, IoT ecosystem that's going to be open, that is originating from a box Bosch Rexroth vision, um, and I want I, I want to partake. I want to I want to test Control X. I want to see what it's all about. Yep. I want to kick the tires, look under the hood. Yep. What do I do? So there's a community. Okay. So you go to www.controlx-automation.com. Okay. You can sign up for the community. So there's a forum you can ask questions so there's a big community it's growing on a daily basis we're on github so uh, that's where you actually can get the sdk yep and um so once you sign up for an account you can download control x uh, works which once you install that on your machine you can actually install um, or run control x for virtual so everything you do on the real hardware you can actually do in a virtual environment uh the only thing you can't do right now is really peripherals right but if it comes to software development plc um, whatever you want to do, right? You can do it virtually, uh, and it runs on a demo license. So, virtually so when I tested, test when I tested Control X works ten months ago, I think now nine months ago, ten months ago, uh, I made a point to do it with no support. Don't call anyone. Okay. Could I just ascertain all the information I needed to get up and running 
And I was able to do that, even as early in development as it actually was, right? I don't know, I will, I'll have to ask you that question. So it's a good question. So one thing we're really uh, putting an emphasis on is to have a lot of how-to sections. So if you go to the controlling okay. store, there's a whole section of how-to videos and it's growing and we have uh, you know, outside uh, users that actually contribute to it. Um, so it could be you, you make a video. If you post it, we'll actually reach out to you and see if you can actually post it on our store. So you see a lot of these things. Again, it's about open community. Um, so yes, and you know, there's still some changes going on in the background. So if you went online 10 months ago, we just actually, this week actually updated our collaboration room. So that's really the go-to place to download software, download apps. And it's really like your phone, right? The idea is that when you go to our webpage and there's certain apps you want to test drive, um, you click on add to basket, right? So you download it right there and kind of just click on the app store, you know, from your smartphone, right? It's the same concept we're getting to. There's still some vexing, you know, fixing, but. On the right, transforming mobile machines, it's the area for uh, our, our mobile hydraulics. So then the last question is, so one of the things that we teach our community when we're consulting with clients, one of the big things that we talk about is the future of, we'll talk about these types of machine solutions. Yep. The future of these solutions is that there is no integration step into your digital infrastructure after functional acceptance testing. So from here in the customer innovation center, you're gonna help customers design turnkey solutions that they will then put on their plant floors, right? And, and part of that infrastructure is the ControlX yep. IoT platform. How does Bosch, Rexroth, approach the idea that once a machine has been functionally accepted, what we do is we point it to a digital infrastructure, we flip a switch, and all the information models on this machine, they yeah. stream into an existing infrastructure. Right. How does, how does, how does Rexroth currently go about incorporating the functional solution yep. with the digital solution for the enterprise, for the business? Yeah, it's, it's a roadmap. So okay. the vision really is to have a fully digital twin, right? So that even before you actually go to the factory acceptance test, that on the control side, you have a fully functional digital twin. On, and in, in Control X. In Control X. Is, so Control X automation is is the center, is the core of all our solutions going forward. So that's clearly the vision, um, so that everything harmonizes, you know, very nicely. But also, again, going forward, and that's where a lot of the Control X world partners come in uh, to help us to really build fully digital twins. So you can, uh, you know, the machine you see here, you have a conveyor, there's a press kit, and this is uh, in progress, so this is not fully functional yet. But the idea is to have a fully functional digital twin to write the entire machine code and you have everything running. From things like safety, uh, collision monitoring, throughput, so all this can be done with a digital twin. And clients who are using existing Azure cloud infrastructures, yep. AWS infrastructures, because the approach with ControlX is open, the idea is that native integration is seamless, not just possible, yep. but seamless. All right. I mean, we already have uh, Microsoft Azure as, as, a, as a link, so we can directly uh, you know, connect to it. We also actually, another Controlix World Partner, newer one is Salesforce. I know you talk a lot yeah. about the entire value chain, right? Yeah. So, SCADA, MES, ERP, all this stuff. So that is where Salesforce is a great example to really do all that on the backbone. It ties right into the CRM, right? Are there vision, is there a vision to deploy Control X natively within the Azure and AWS cloud ecosystem? So uh, could I purchase yeah. Control X through Microsoft Store one day, through the AWS Store one day? I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, Control X is based on Linux, right? Yeah. So I'm not sure if Windows would want to sell a Linux-based solution. Now, there is, you know, we talk about Control X OS, so there will be a lot of announcements next year. There's a lot of potential for things like this. Perfect. So there will be likely more like hardware vendors where you can actually select Control X OS as a pre-installed solution, possibly. Who's your ideal customer right now, day one? For this day one? For this location. For this location, uh, you know, larger, uh, anything really in automation where you build on the operational level, where you build any Turn product. 
turnkey though. No, we don't do turnkey. So we would, uh, you know, our customer, okay. Our customer really is the machine builder, the integrator, the OEM. That's really who we work with. But then on the end user side, right, there's some consultancy going on. So it's really a, Got it. a, a triangle. So we all work together and you see this more and more. End users reach out to machine builders or to vendors to really collaborate. So we see this more and more. And that's really what the focus is of this center. And this is a change for Rex Roth though, right? Wasn't Re Rex Roth was more component centric and now it's cell centric. Um, These solutions will be cell centric. So you working with the machine builder. Yeah, uh, not necessarily. So, you know, we have these different business units. So if you think about just a linear module, let's say, or just a rail, that is definitely component business. But on the drives and control side, it always was solution centric. Because, you know, when you think about the packaging machine, yep. um, yeah, there's a lot of customers or people out there that can make a conveyor run and synchronize something to it. It really comes down to the solution. Time to market is really important for us and our customers are quick to time to market. Um, I mean, supply chain, right? I mean, it's not just the hardware components, but the software side, it all needs to come together. We have three bundled solution packages for specific verticals and applications. So that, you know, you have a, a full HMI, diagnostics, all that stuff is pre-done and you can customize it. Or just put your level, you know, your layer, let's say you don't like the screens, so put your little touch on it. So like a mom and pop shop, shop, right? They can actually build maybe a picture a palletizer. Let's think about the palletizer. Uh, they want to customize it maybe. So there's these abilities to do this with our stuff. You know, when you talk about robotics, for example, people automatically think about a yellow or orange robot arm, right? The right. big, I mean, five, six X articulated arm. For us, kinematic, it be so many different things. We have Cartesian robots, there's Delta, Scaras, customized, uh, you know, linear, I mean, kinematics out there. So the ability for someone to take any piece of hardware and build a kinematic, the ability to start this up rather quickly, that's what we bring to the table awesome. as one example. All right, brother. Yep. Appreciate it, Rob. Appreciate Thank you. you. Thank you for inviting us, yep. man. I appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for coming. Thank you. So the question is, what do I think about the, um, the grand opening, the ribbon cutting ceremony of the Customer Innovation Center? here in Round Rock, Texas for Bosch Rexroth. All right, outside of all the normal obligatory executive vice presidents saying things that no one really cares about anyway, I thought the presentation by the EVP of business development in North America, that was a actually really valuable presentation. There was a couple of really good slides in there in terms of what Rex Roth is really thinking about go-to-market strategy with digital transformation. In terms of the Customer Innovation Center, it's your standard customer innovation center, except this one's really focused more on motion control and robotics. Uh, I think there's a couple of gaps. I'm super excited about Control X, but there are a couple of major gaps in terms of go-to-market strategy that uh, I, I see is missing, and that is I don't understand how, how OEMs believe that they can truly help organizations digitally transform, become digital companies that plug in digital supply chains, if they're not first starting with education and strategy. Um, I, and I, and I, I didn't get a chance to ask anything about training in there or overall technical philosophy. On a scale of one to five, you know, what do I think of, of this new innovation center opening up here in Austin? I give it a four. I'm, I mean, I'm really impressed. Rex Roth has a lot of you know, super brilliant engineers and they're, absolutely, they're definitely gonna be able to help vendors, integrators, and end users with their solutions. Um, I think where we can help them as a community is guide them towards where the Control X IoT platform, which by the way, I think is a huge game changer if implemented, implemented correctly. I'm super excited about the Control X OS, which is Linux-based OS for Industry 4.0. Um, I think the gap that needs to be closed by the community is definitely centered around strategy, digital strategy, having strategy and education be at the forefront of any digital transformation initiative. So with that, Thanks for inviting us, Roth Hopper. Uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the future, and we will definitely be back.